The Battle of Tolvajavi, Finnish, Tolvahavana Glejavan Tastalu, Russian, was fought on 12 December 1939 between Finland and the Soviet Union. It was the first large offensive victory for the Finns in the Winter War. The battle took place on territory of so called Ladoga Karelia, which today is part of the Republic of Karelia. Chapter 1 Location and Intent The Finnish plan was to encircle the Soviet division by two pincer attacks over the frozen lakes Hervasjavi and Tolvajavi. The northern attack over Hervasjavi was to begin at 8 o'clock and the second would start when the first had brought results. This was later changed and both attacks were to begin at 8 o'clock. The Soviet main effort was to make a front assault with two regiments 609th and 364th over the Tolvajavi lake onto the Finnish positions of the 16th regiment near Tolvajavi village, while the Soviet 718th regiment was to make a 20 km flanking maneuver from the north to the Finnish rear across thick wooded areas. There was a thick fog over a single narrow and improved rural muddy road towards Tolvajavi, that was winding amongst some dozens of small lakes. Just before the battle a big snow storm brought some 40 to 50 centimeters of snow. Due to thick fog, aviation did not take part in the battle. Due to mud, many tanks got stuck and also did not actively participate in the battle, and were lost during withdrawal. Chapter 2 Composition Finish Side Talvela Group of the 4th Corps. Jastjanin Detachment, the Finnish side consisted of 7 infantry battalions and 30 pieces of artillery. The Finnish 16th Infantry Regiment was composed of workers out of Tampere City and headed by the Chief of Police of Tampere. Soviet Side 139th Rifle Division of the 8th Army The Soviet side consisted of 9 infantry battalions, 60 artillery pieces, one scout battalion, one signal battalion, one sapper battalion, 30 tanks, and 376 planes. Chapter 3, Rattle. The northern group consisting of two battalions soon met Soviet resistance. In fact, they met the Soviet 718th Rifle Regiment of the 139th Rifle Division, which was preparing to make its own attack on the Finnish flank. By noon, the Finnish troops withdrew to their own lines. Although this attack did not fulfill its objectives, it prevented the 718th from attacking the Finnish flank, and also from sending reinforcements to the south. While the 2nd Battalion of the Finnish 16th Regiment was preparing to attack along the road, it was interrupted by an attack from the Soviet 609th Regiment. The Finns were still able to attack after they got some artillery support. The Finnish attack continued towards a hotel located on a thin isthmus between the two lakes. Pajari decided to commit his reserves in a pincer attack at the Soviet troops around the hotel. In the end, the hotel was captured and in it were found a dead Soviet regimental commander and all the regiment's papers. The Finns withdrew over the lakes for the night. In the morning, Colonel Talvela demanded a new attack and the Soviet 139th Rifle Division was pushed back and later destroyed around Aglajavi east from Tolvajavi. Contact was also made with the Soviet 75th Rifle Division, which had been sent as reinforcements. Chapter 4, Aftermath Finnish losses were over 100 dead and 250 wounded. The Soviet losses are thought to be over 5,000 dead and a lot of equipment, the guns of two artillery batteries, at guns, some 20 tanks and 60 machine guns. The battle was an important offensive victory for the Finns and was very important for the morale of the whole Finnish army. No major battles were fought in this region after the successful Finnish counterattack. Only a few shots were fired occasionally. The Finns held the line to the end of the Winter War. Two commanders from Finnish side were promoted. Paavo Talvela was promoted from Colonel to Major General on 18 December 1939. Aro Pajari was promoted to Colonel on 18 December 1939. General Biyev was dismissed from commanding on 16 December 1939, but preserved his rank. 
In June 1940 after reattestation he was granted the rank of Major General. Chapter 5, Gallery